Hello there, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. I'm John Humphrey. We are going to watch another Avengers Endgame TV spot. Even though I have deactivated my social media for seven days, starting yesterday. I figured why not keep watching the TV spots, at least. Marvel's offering them up. <laughs> so, uh, let's get into this. But before we do, I wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you beautiful sons of bastards who have been following us on the Stardust app over their 30-second reaction reviews for films, TV shows, and or trailers every once in a while we do micro sketches we post throughout the week over there yes we have youtube patreon and stardust the main three hubs of the real rejects you can post your own reactions on stardust as well the whole thing is completely free to download completely free to use not one bit of it will cost you any money but we want to hit 10k followers since it is an extension of the real rejects brand let's watch this on april 26th very different circumstances hey, hey. John Wick. this would be totally awesome <laughs> wow. <laughs> Show pepper. Yeah. Oh, God. What's up, regular size man? Avengers <laughs> Endgame. <laughs> the, the more they try to hide, the weirder the ADR for the trailers gets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zoudy sound sounded funky there. Yeah. <laughs> sounded it's, very it's not like a Tony Stark laugh. You know what I'm, I'm loving about it, how they've been promoting this? The more footage they've been showing of uh, Jeremy Renner, Ronan, Hawkeye, whatever you yeah, want to call him yeah. right now. Hot guy. Because he's going by the Ronan image, but we haven't called him Ronan here yet. I don't know if they'll even call him Ronan in the actual film. I don't know if that's been confirmed. I haven't read any news articles about it. Not one bit of the trailers has called him a Ronan specifically, mm. even though this whole interpretation of him is... Anyway, my whole point of bringing this up is because I believe on the Disney Plus streaming service, I think it was announced, I heard this talked about on Screen Junkies and I heard this talked about on Collider, that there is going to be a Hawkeye show mm -hmm. with uh, Jeremy Renner in it. You know, I'm like looking back at the other trailers or whatever uh, Hawkeye, Clint was in any of those Avengers movies. He's never been advertised as much as he is now. Yeah. I don't know if that's just honing in on the whole thing from Infinity War. Of, where was he? Yeah, where was Hawkeye? Where was Hawkeye this whole time? And I don't know if it has to do with the fact that oh they have this show coming up so maybe they do want to like get you a little more amped and excited to see him and it's kind of funny watching the transition of Hawkeye from the first couple trailers into something like this because I remember there was uh, the later trailer hey he kind of cracked a little smile there yeah, yeah, and then yeah. now here he you know like doing the the space adventure stuff he's looking like he's having a really damn good time and then this other moment you know they showed the the scene you know in the first trailer whoosh, when he cleans the blade yeah, yeah this clearly they're showing the fight that took place right before he kills this guy. Yeah, right when he helps John Wick, you know. Is it looks from... like it's from John <laughs> yeah. Wick, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Funny enough, I'm trying to tell. I, I I'm slowing it down. It looks like it's one of those guys from the raid. I'm not entirely sure. The second we saw the image, I'm like, it looks like it's one of those those main fighters. I mean, those dudes are getting a lot of work in small parts in very prominent even, Hollywood one movies. One now. of them is even in John Wick, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. chapter three. Yeah, yeah. So seeing that little image there, either way, it's going to be cool to see an awesome sword fight. Well, and, and this makes me wonder about, yeah, how the character is going to be because, you know, Ronan does look, at least, yeah, the first reintroduction is so badass and dark and now I'm sitting here going with the lighter that he gets over the course of these trailers, is he just going to be Clint still? Yeah. <laughs> you know, is he going to be the same guy? This TV spot, while it's super short and, and while it offers up some new imagery that we'll continue to talk about, there's this weird positive vibe <laughs> that the yeah. other ones haven't really like, offered get him. <laughs> like, an adventure. This one's called Awesome. Yeah. And you do see even in the ship with uh, Ronan and Black Widow, they're both like, is this, this cool? Is fun. I mean, even though it's been the end of the world stakes and <laughs> you might die on this mission, <laughs> this is pretty sweet stuff right yeah, here. Even though we've all lost a whole lot of people. <laughs> and did they just make it flat out clear that the missing person kind of looks a little unnatural it would make sense with the other moments that we've seen in the other trailers when pepper reunites with tony because they had that super bowl spot where they showed black widow with blonde hair <laughs> cap hulk Rody all looking up at the sky and it was very apparent that there was someone who was cropped out yeah. of there that there was a fifth person everyone's been theorizing who and it seemed like with one trailer <laughs> that it would probably be Pepper because they show Pepper and Tony reuniting here on yeah. the field and then Nebula and Rocket and that scene now they're just like ah screw it <laughs> just, let's just, let's show just it. throw Pepper in. it still looks like she could be 
CGI'd yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. Because her lighting yeah. just doesn't blend. Separates her somehow from the background. Yeah. yeah it, and nobody else has the same exact, like, uh, shoulder light and stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if she is in that shot and, like, in the final cut of this movie. Mm-hmm. But right as it stands, I'm like, yeah, it looks a little fake, <laughs> you know. Yeah, well, and it's also the kind of thing where we're trained to just like look at every image and be like, I don't trust you, or there's something you're you're trying to hide that I need to decode or something. You know? Yeah, yeah. One little note that I heard here that stood out to me a bit: Captain America does say, "You know your teams, you know your missions, you know your missions." Mm. You know, and I know there was that mission spot, and from the way this looks, it looks like they're all going to do the same mission. We've heard about the element of time travel here, going through the quantum realm. Maybe all of them are going through different points in time, actually, because you do see, like, separated shots with Ronan and Black Widow on the ship, and it looks like they're by themselves there. I don't know, I might be reading way too much into it, but that's what we do. <laughs> oh yeah, or, or, or maybe it's just he's coming up with a plan and each of them has their different marching orders, you know? It's like yeah. once we get to our destination across time and space, here's, you know, where I'm gonna go, here's where you're gonna go, you know, and here's the ultimate plan, you know? To me, it, it did feel like they're all doing completely separate things, but they need to go through the quantum realm to do it. That would be really cool. Like, like I would be really excited. Completely different timelines. If they yeah. really went sci-fi about about it and yeah made it le- not just a tactical mission but like where they're all splintered across yeah time and space like <laughs> to further take advantage of the quantum realm but also just yeah the the deeper sci-fi you know inclinations and especially uh-huh. in a post spider-verse world multiple timelines and universes are possible like yeah. I feel like that would be really cool for the Avengers to do now <laughs> <laughs> this moment where uh War Machine Rhodey oh god I love yeah. his suit Oh, yeah, it looks, looks pretty sweet. <laughs> there are some shots where his suit looks just as thick as always, but in this shot right here, it looks like a lot more slim He's fitting. slimmed down. He's been working out yeah. in, in the suit. When he loses weight, the suit loses yeah. weight. <laughs> it's yeah. this new kind of bio-organic metal that Tony developed. It's kind of a weird joke. It's a regular size guy. I hope we yeah. get all those kinds of great comedic lines. They're going to call him that throughout the movie, actually. It's like the most recurring <laughs> joke they've confirmed. Yeah. Well, the ADR, like the laugh over, that, which kind of sounded like Tony laughing. What's up, regular size man? <laughs> Into yeah. this moment with uh, Captain America over Tony's shoulder, looking at Captain America, in anguish. and it just doesn't feel like it's out of the same moment. Yeah, it doesn't feel yeah. at all. Like that's why I was like, that's the weirdest ADR I've seen in any of these trailers. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Combined with that tone overall that this trailer has, that lighter, more fun, adventurous tone that this trailer brings, like it does, kind of stick out. <laughs> and uh, honestly, I I don't know if there's anything different about Captain Marvel's suit here. This looks like it could just be... This looks like a shot out of Captain <laughs> Marvel. Our stock footage they used out of Captain Marvel yeah. themselves. I don't know. Borrow a shot that we already just used. Just use it. Just <laughs> use it. Tickets on sale now. I love... I feel like these trailers are meant to like promote more ticket sales. T- so I'm like, guys... I'm pretty sure they've you've sold as much as you need to. Tickets on sale now for, for a month from now, and you can finally get them again. Tony's saying stuff like, we need to live up to our name. Sure. Yeah. You guys have never done that. The Revenges. This is, this is the first time you guys will actually live up to your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you haven't avenged the world enough times. Anyway, got two screenings lined up. Got our uh, advanced screening. And then got uh, tickets to be with a crowd on opening night. I'm excited to check this out. And like I said, did deactivate social media uh, at least for a week. And uh, till we watch this, uh, hell yeah. But before we wrap this up, I would like to give a patron of the day shout out to a lovely lady who I talk with uh, throughout the week named Adelia Chamberlain. And she and I are on the same exact page right now. She already got her tickets. She's already making sure to avoid all social media. Uh, And I feel like she'll probably do a better job than us because (laughs) with what we do, YouTube in some ways is its own version of social media. (laughs) definitely social media. (laughs) So, uh, Adelia, I hope nothing gets ruined for you. I hope nothing gets spoiled for you. I hope even after you've seen the movie, you don't know what happened. I, a complete that mystery. would be the best, best case scenario. I want you to keep on writing. We haven't talked about that lately. And I want you to keep on writing, keep fleshing out more characters. And maybe she's actually supposed to hop on a game after she's read the books. But now she's going to be uh, hopping onto the show finally. Ooh, very curious about your thoughts on that. <sighs> You're going to have a really really emotionally wrecking month and a half. <laughs> if, yeah. if you're satisfied with the adaptation, because I know you are a very literary person. Uh, I, mean, so. I just think with all the fighting and endgame, marathoning all the Avengers movies and then doing Game of Thrones, that's a, that's a lot of... 
It's a lot of weight. You need to watch a comedy or something sometimes. It's a lot of heavy (laughs) Light things up, would you? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys can subscribe to the Reject Nation. Click that notification bell. And don't forget to download and follow us on the Stardust app. Peace!